It's so marvelous to me how you ever came to be. Such a radiant one, such a radiant child. From now until forever, may you ever remember. Ooh, you're a radiant one, you're a radiant child. So is a great way for children to really learn anything because it puts them at a very peaceful place, very, very calm, and that's where attention really starts, being present with where they are. And um, it really puts their mind in a place where it's receptive to receive information. So even when we're talking about learning in a school environment, there's all this information that we want kids to be able to learn, whether it's how to read or math or learning science or social studies facts, but lots of times kids aren't in a ready state to learn. Their mind is distracted, their body's distracted, they have a need to move, but yoga really trains us to unite our mind and our body so that we're receptive to learning new information. I think that yoga is a wonderful thing for children to learn because it's all about self-regulation about getting in touch with your body, it's about getting in touch with your spirit and finding out how to balance the two. I know what yoga has done for me is that it's helped me connect with myself and when life comes along and as it tends to do and bring a situation that could be challenging or just over exciting or something, I go back to my yoga and it helps me sort, th sort things through. I find out what do I really feel about this and what can I do or even after something's happened that I didn't really like, it helps me to center and figure out okay what happens next. And I think that yoga for children is a beautiful way to get them to have an experience of their bodies um, in a joyful way but also in a peaceful way. So I think it introduces a great experience of balance, of quiet time and full on expression of joyful time. And it also teaches them uh, songs that they can do that actually are not just um, they're intentional songs. They give them positive affirmations in a way that will help them feel good on many levels because the poses are intentionally meant to um, connect their bodies in a harmonious and healthy way and also the positive verbal affirmations give them words that will cycle in their minds that help them to stay focused on the positive things in their lives. And the beauty about this program is it's not about just teaching children about yoga poses and yoga games. But what this program does is it really brings out the essence of what it is to be a child, which is really the essence of all of us, of really knowing, having a deep connection with who we are inside. And really all we want for our children is really to be happy, and happiness resides with being comfortable with who you are and knowing who you are. And I really feel that this program offers the tools to help children reconnect with what they already know. Um, I believe this work's very important for children um, as it provides them the groundwork that they need to continue on through life and it's something that they'll carry with them for them. This training has been very uplifting. Um, you know, it's, it's given me a new connection and a new boundary in, in my goals in my life. Um, on a personal level and on a career level, you know, which, which direction I want to go. The Happily Ever Now program has really helped in my own transformation because it's given me, I guess, um, more of a perspective of, of realizing what I probably really already know within myself of um, being attuned and present in every moment, not just of looking, we tend to really look at the future of what we want to accomplish and what we want to be and what we want to do, but in appreciating the very moment of our being, because that's really where life is. Life is happening right now, 
it's not happening tomorrow yet or in a week from now or a month from now, it's happening right now. So it really makes me remember that. What I've really enjoyed about the Happily Ever Now module is that um, it just reiterates or highlights for me the importance of my role as a teacher or facilitator. Is that is I'm not just uh, uh, I'm not just someone who's giving information to kids and having them do it. It's actually the richness and wholeness of my personal integrity as a human being and as a spiritual being that has a direct link to what my effectiveness will be as a teacher. And what Happily Ever Now highlighted for me as a part of the Radiant Child program is that my work on myself and where I am with myself and my willingness to go deep and explore myself is going to, it has a lot to do with, the, with my, of what my ability will be to relate to children. You know, Shakti has always said that children are big souls and little bodies. And as we get older, it's almost as if we lose our soul consciousness and we, uh, the body consciousness and our role consciousness kind of becomes more dominant. And kids come in this original form and they're all energy. And it's me getting back to the importance of spending time being in an energetically harmonious place and a soul conscious place that allowed me to effectively understand how can I best be a guide for these young new souls on this earth and lets me figure out how can I best give them the information that they're asking for, maybe not in words. So I think the happily and I was really good to remind myself that it's not just it's not just about learning the material to teach the kids. That's one part of it. But it's about I need to integrate this work and myself and my life to be able to best channel, well, best give this information to children. What I got out of the Happily Ever Now, um, I'm still in the process of going through it, um, but I know there was definitely um, a lot of release of just garbage. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and definitely an uplift. It's just, I just have to work through it right now. Mm -hmm. The training is always, always brought back to the self and what the self can do to enhance and grow from the inside out and then be able to grow their practice with children. Or we cover families actually, so there's senior yoga, men, women, and of course a strong focus on children. But it's all from the inside out, everything's from the inside out, so there's a lot of transformation and co-creation in the training. The um, ADHD, autism, or differently able child module that we're teaching right now is very, very exciting, especially being a co-teacher of that program. Um, and myself being an occupational therapist for so many years and having so, so much experience of just being around differently abled children um, and having many, many tools that I've learned over the years of how to connect with them and help them learn and um, being able to connect yoga to my work and then teach other people of how to connect with these children has really been remarkable because I think that in society we're so used to just labeling kids with having this diagnosis or that diagnosis and we tend to see the diagnosis before we see the child. And um, in this course we really teach people how to see beyond the diagnosis and see the child for who they are. And really, we're all on this earth for a purpose. We all have special gifts, and we all have gifts to share. We all, all are light. We're all made of the same light, the same energy. We just don't express it the same way. Well, the training in Costa Rica is coming up in um, January, and it goes into February. It's 12 days. So it's the 105 hours of the uh, the 200 hours. So it gives people enough time to really get to know each other, to really settle into the yoga. We have a morning practice, a very powerful practice of kundalini yoga every morning. And um, it's just a beautiful way for people to feel the energy that they have co collectively and grow that even more and also just learn some just really amazing things. We're going to have amazing healthy vegetarian food during the training and then I will be here uh, giving Hatha Yoga, Adaptation, Anatomy and we'll also be discussing Conscious Education. I mean when people 
leave this program, they don't just teach children. Some of them, like, um, I know some of them have written to me when they're finished, and they say things like, um, well, I'm teaching seniors and children, so they've got both ends of the spectrum. Or they learn a lot about women's yoga, so they could teach women's yoga classes. And um, So it's very eclectic. It's a beautiful blend of, of Hatha and Kundalini, and I, I leave mostly all the Hatha stuff to Lisa. And I teach mostly the Kundalini parts, because that's what I know best, and that's what she knows best, so it's a perfect combination. And, um, and Lisa has so much experience with children with sensory integration. We bring that into the, into the uh, training as well. It's so marvelous to me how you ever came to be. Ooh, such a radiant one, such a radiant one.